Online file storage, such as OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, and Box.com, all of these are cloud-based uh, file storage systems. Now, some people get confused with this term, the cloud. All that is is a marketing term that means on the internet. Um, what these systems do is allow you to store your stuff in the cloud so that you can access it from multiple locations. So if you have files on your work computer and you want to be able to get to them from home, well, what you could do is you can install, I'm going to use in this example that we're going to do here, we're going to use OneDrive. You can install that on your work computer. You copy those things into the OneDrive folder on your computer. What that does is it syncs it with Microsoft's server. Then you go to your house, you install OneDrive on the house computer, you sign in using the same username and password, and and what you'll have is an identical copy. Anything that you uploaded and put in OneDrive at work will be available on your home computer and vice versa. You can take things from your home computer's pictures folder and you can put it in OneDrive and it'll be available at work. It also makes it available um, through the web browser as well. So if you're at a computer, say you're visiting somebody, you don't have your computer, but you need to get a file and you need to send it to the boss really quickly. Um, you'll be able to do that through the web browser. You don't actually have to load the app on the computer but typically using the app is what you'll do most of the time um other things that are really cool that we'll, we'll kind of show you with this is um it allows you to share uh, large amounts of files with somebody so if you go on a vacation and you have uh 200 pictures you wouldn't be able to email those 200 pictures it'd be too much for the system to hold but what you can do is you can put them on OneDrive and you can share a link with them you can also work collaboratively with a group of people so say you're working on a project with five other people Bill, Sherry, Tom you know etc and you guys were working on it together at work but right now we have the um, coronavirus pandemic that's going on and so people are being encouraged to telecommute to do their work remotely well you can guys can still work together with this project you would create a folder and then share a link with them that allows them to edit and contribute to it and when you do that anything that you put in the folder will be available to all of them if you put a word document on there they could go in and edit or contribute and add to the word document change it however they can add their own files to it and everybody can continue to work from that folder um, very simplistically it works really well um, so let's get into it <clears throat> um, I'm gonna close this one here and we'll just kind of start from scratch I'm gonna open up Chrome here like I said I'm gonna use OneDrive as an example I think OneDrive is the best one overall they are first uh, very inexpensive they you, they give you a free one that's five gig and I think they give you more than any of the other ones I think a lot of them are two gig worth of free space Microsoft gives you five gig um, and then I think their web interface is significantly better than all the others um, so OneDrive.com once we access the site, you need to have a Microsoft account for OneDrive. Um, and by the way, all of the other products, if you use Google Drive, Dropbox, or whatever, should you choose to use any of those, they function identically, right? The concept and the way that they work is exactly the same. So what I show you here will apply to Dropbox and stuff like that as well. Uh, with OneDrive, we, because it's a Microsoft product, we need to have a Microsoft account. So you can either create one or I already have one, so I'm going to sign in. Before I sign in really quick, I'll show you the pricing, like I said, because it's pretty inexpensive. The, let's see here, the Five gig is free, two gig, I mean, 100 gig is only two bucks a month to store 100 gig. The average person has no more than 30 gig, so for two bucks a month, you can store all of that stuff. As a side note, this is also possible to be used as kind of a backup. It's not really backup, and people get confused with that. Um, <clears throat> it will protect from hardware failures, so if your hard drive crashes, but you have your stuff stored in the cloud on OneDrive, then when you get a new computer, you can just sign into OneDrive with that same username and password, and you'll be able to access all of your files again. They'll download into the new computer. Um, it's not fully a backup, because while there's versioning available, meaning you can restore sometimes previous versions depending on what system you're using. It's kind of a pain to go and restore previous versions of a thousand different files, right? So you still, you don't want to depend on it as a true backup, but it's kind of nice in that it provides some of that functionality. Um, so anyways, we're going to go over here. I'm going to sign in with my Microsoft account. And this is signing in through the website, right? Um, Typically, you won't be signing into the website if you have it set up on your work computer. Once you have it set up on your work computer, on your home computer, you don't need to do this anymore, but it, you typically need to do this to get the app in the first place. So we're signed in, and here's the uh, web interface. So um, we're using Chrome to access, and you see there's files here and all of that good jazz. This right here, incidentally, provides additional protection if you should need that. Um, one thing that I like to note, two-factor authentication for things like this, I think are critically important. Two-factor authentication means that you need not only your password, but a second piece of information to uh, you've 
almost certainly used it before you try to sign into your bank and they send you a code a text message that you have to type in before you can get signed in um so that's called two-fact authentication and that um makes you significantly more secure because if a hacker got your password but you had two-factor set up they would need something beyond the password typically it means having access to your phone and that's usually not the case um when setting up the two-factor authentication there's a lot of different versions of that <clears throat> i like to use my uh google authenticator um instead of the sms text message it's significantly more secure we have an entire article on that on our website pccomputerguy.com at the top right there's a search box and you can search for two-factor authentication but it's worth mentioning for something like this because if you if you're storing sensitive information on here you want to really make sure that the bad guys or just people on the internet don't get access to it right <clears throat> so anyways um, I'm going to download the app here. I'm on I'm with our demo machine here. This is Windows 7, so it's not automatically installed. If you're on Windows 10, all you have to do is click start at the bottom left here and type OneDrive. Um, people get confused because when you click search, there's no search box there, but you can just type. You just start typing on the keyboard and it'll automatically go into the search box. You open up OneDrive and you sign in with your Microsoft account, assuming you have one. Um, so I need to download the app. So because I'm on Windows 7 and not 10 for this demonstration. So I've got it downloaded. I'm going to run through the installation here. And then once we get it installed, then we're going to sign in with our Microsoft username and password. Um, and again, the whole concept or the purpose of this is you have it installed on your work computer and your home computer. You could have it installed on five different computers. Um, and then whatever's in OneDrive on one computer is going to be there on the other computers as well. So I'm going to sign in here. This is signing in through the app, not the website. And then a lot of these, uh, we're going to say next to this first screen. And I, I had this set up already, so I'm just going to say use this folder. That's what that was asking me. You probably won't see that screen. Backing up folders, I do not want it to back up all of the... I don't want it to back up my desktop, my documents, and my pictures on my computer. I want to keep those separate. It, it could be confusing if you said, yes, back these up, because then what will happen is you'll end up with a desktop folder in your OneDrive, and then it becomes confusing as to where your files are actually stored. So I'm going to turn these all off and hit skip for that. Um, and then we're pretty much done here, right? Next and go premium. We're going to say not now. And we're done. Uh, View sync process down here. So down here, this is where the app is, the little cloud thing. Um, I'm going to close that down and we no longer really need the website. So I'm going to close that down. And so what have we got? We've got OneDrive installed. Remember I told you it's just a special folder. So if I open my files here, you, you have your typical downloads and your documents. But look, there's this new one here, OneDrive. All it is is a special folder. It works exactly like your documents or your pictures folder. There's nothing special to it. You can create a new folder and we'll call it test demo, right? So I created a new folder. I'm going to go into this application here. This is like a free knockoff of Microsoft Word called LibreOffice. This is a test. And then I'm going to save this file here. And then if I want to put it on my cloud-based thing, I'm going to click OneDrive right here. And under the uh, test demo, we'll call it test one. Save it as a Microsoft format and save. And we're done. I have created a file and saved it in the cloud. Now, this was done on the computer, obviously, that we're looking at right now, right? Um, if I go to another computer and I install OneDrive on there and have the exact same username and password, I will see these exact same folders. So I'll be able to move my files back and forth. Um, at work, you can take pretty much all of your stuff and throw it into the OneDrive folder and then have it accessible to you at home. So again, during this, uh, this is recorded during the time of the uh, corona pandemic, and that's why we're doing this, is to give people ways to telecommute, to work from home, so that you reduce your chances of getting that virus, right? So we've created it here. Now I want to show you just, I'm going to minimize this. Um, I told you one of the benefits was should like say you're visiting grandma, right? And uh, you don't have your computer, you don't have your work computer, but your boss calls and says, hey, I really need this file right now. What you can do if you have it stored on OneDrive or Dropbox or whatever, is you can go log into the website and you can get to it there. So remember we created that test demo folder through the through this right here? Well, look, we have a test demo folder here now. Now, if I open that, remember we saved that one file? There's that file right there. So we can access all of our information um, pretty much anywhere we're connected to the internet. You know, if you're in 
China, you can log into this, actually probably not with the Great Firewall of China, but you get my point. You can log in with the web browser and you can see all of your information. And I told you that I like the OneDrive um, one the, the most because um, th look at the, how nice their interface is, right? We're actually in Chrome. We're not in Word, but it's very similar to Word. So you can actually make changes to this from the website without having Word installed. Right, so I just made a change here. It says saving. This is something that can sometimes be confusing is that there's not an actual save button. Um, so don't worry, you know, that's where you pay attention to it, right? So I made a change to this. If I close this down here um, and let's minimize this stuff here and let's go back to our OneDrive folder over here and go into this test demo where we had our file. And let's open, look at that. Our changes are already here. So do you see how this kind of works? everything synchronizes within those folders. So you can start a Word document at work, you can go home and you can continue working on that Word document. No longer do you need to have a thumb drive and take things back and forth all over the place. So that's how that's the primary uh, uh, use of this. One of the other uses is, let's say that you're working on a project with five other people and uh, at work, everybody was collaborating. But since uh, people are staying away from the office during this time. Uh, what you guys can do is you can uh, share this. So I can right click and I can say share OneDrive link. Um, this one right here, I don't believe is editable. Um, anyone can view the stuff in there. So if you have, if you went on a cruise and you have uh, 200 pictures or something, you can't email 200 pictures to your sister, right? But what you can do is you can take this link, go into your mail program and then paste that link and you know it's saved in your clipboard so what that means is you just right click and say paste you know i don't have email set up on here but you know in this if i right click and say paste there's the link right there right so hey michelle check this out and paste the, the link and then they'll be able to see all 200 pictures and they can actually download the full resolution of them um but if you need to collaborate with people um you can right click and you can say more uh sharing options uh, in windows 10 you can actually um, allow editing and all that stuff from the right click right through the interface with Windows 7 there's an extra step where you click on here and it takes you to the um, actual file and then it'll say allow editing so allow editing right here like I said that's integrated into Windows 10 and then get link right here and so now whoever you send that to if you're sending it to five other people working on the same project they will all have access to that folder and they can uh, put things in there they can edit stuff that's already there so you guys can continue to work in collaboration but you're doing it all remotely so it's pretty nice um, I'm gonna open an incognito window here which means basically a fresh window I'm not signed into anything I'm gonna paste this here just so that you can see what it would be like for um, the person receiving the email they would click on it and they would see this and then they can click on it and they can go and do their stuff. Um, if they have OneDrive on their computer, they can make it so that it's accessible through just here without having to go to the website either. So that's a, a cloud based storage with uh, Microsoft's OneDrive. But like I said, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, they all pretty much work the, the conceptually pretty much exactly the same. So this is another way that you can telecommute during the Corona pandemic. And hopefully this um, helps you and more than one ways, and you know, it helps you telecommute, but it also helps you um, share files and and uh, move things back and forth with ease.